Something crazy on my uh 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 Welcome to YouTube, man. We're toning it down. I'm sick of this generation of YouTubers, man. So, in a mission to make this channel and our older, ch our new channel, the vlog channel, check that out, uh, more raw and organic, we're just gonna start doing workouts, man. Old school style. I don't care. No, no scripted content. No shitty YouTube gimmick. We're literally just gonna let you into the doors of what it's like to train with me here at Third Street Barbell, good company, my life, my fitness, and I'll answer questions. I'm always here to help and entertain, but no more BS. Welcome to the video, give this thing a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'm Silent Mike, welcome. I'm owner, gym owner at Third Street Barbell, designer and owner of good company apparel, and I'm glad you're here with me. November 20th, today is our brand new launch of all our gear, .co, our biggest collection ever. You want to cop the thermal, some sweatsuits, we had a couple fleeces, bunch of caps, hats, the highest quality training gear you're ever going to feel. I guarantee it, guaranteed, if you put that hoodie suit on, you're going to love it. 3SB.co, it will sell out, grab your size now. Stay hydrated, kids. The, America's chronically fat and chronically dehydrated. So stop eating so much and drink some more water for me and for you and for your kids and our next generation that's gonna be living on Mars. It really is crazy how YouTube's changed and then I think coming back full circle, just straight scripted content getting called out. Just for a second there it wasn't. People were like absorbing it like it's funny. And there is some like creative juices to, you know, writing a script or something, but like, holy cow, man. Y'all out there doing corny cringe shit, man. You're not safe no more. OGs are coming back. Y'all photoshopping, steroid using, steroid promoting. Then the hypocrisy to come out with some drama content to get clicks talking shit on other people that have the same low moral standards y'all do. It's mostly the hypocrisy, I guess. It's like that uh, Dunning-Kruger works everywhere. It works in like the creation space too. Where all of a sudden people get like morals are on their high horse. Virtue signaling to the world that you're on this high horse. And I'm just rambling, but if you guys watch a little bit of internet content, you're starting to, names and faces are starting to pop up in your head. I'm hitting fucking targets out here, bullseyes. Last time this dude saw three wheels, he was riding his tricycle. He is the kid to bench 225 and say I bench four wheels. Damn. Yeah, yeah I'll be squatting I'll be squatting six plates, honey. <laughs> Slap tap me that pussy! <laughs> There's no way this kid makes people laugh so much that he's confident enough to make himself laugh like that. It's all funny. That's called delusion. No, that's funny. funny. <laughs> bye bye, Gasly. Gasly's fire, man. Don't even let that shit evolve. Let that little floating head beat that ass. IRL? Yeah, IRL. You got one Pokemon. What are you taking? Is he going? Yeah. Hey, no crazy shit, though. No legendary. Don't be going out of pocket. No legendary. You said any Pokemon? No, no, because I don't want you going out here. I don't even know if he's legendary. Probably like a Dragonair. Probably like a Dragonair or something. Okay, cool. Ditto. Ooh, Alan. 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 Different girl every day of the week. Yeah. 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 Why is it so soft and gushy? <laughs> that was crazy. Psyduck? Jinx? Jinx is like a, Jinx, Jinx looks like a girl from Adam's family. I talked about in the uh, last week's video, relationship like changing with the gym. And not only because I'm dieting, but like, so like decision fatigue or like bandwidth we call it in work. You're talking about someone's workflow or capacity to handle new tasks. Let's talk about what their bandwidth is. So it's not always about like pure work. You know, I'm not sitting crunching numbers all day or some shit, but my bandwidth of what my brain can handle 
is very low because of the responsibilities I have as like CCO and CEO. So my ADHD, anxiety, everything is all tie in. So within training, not only because I'm dieting, but in general, the chapter of my life, I got about one good set in me <laughs> per exercise, <laughs> something to move on. I'm probably not gonna build significant amounts of muscle because I've been doing it so long, plus calorie deficit. So chances are that I put on a ton of new muscle right now is already low. I'd have to optimize everything, plus calories, which I'm not doing. So not that I'm like not gonna waste my time, but I'm gonna push myself. Yesterday we, we squatted 450, pulled six, 585. There, that was a pretty close to failure. It's probably RPE nine right there. Probably do the same on these flies. So I'm maintaining, if not, you know, pushing it. But the chances I put on five pounds of muscle this year are gonna be rare, almost impossible. It's just not that chapter. Who knows, maybe things settle down, we hire a CEO and I fucking try to get dumb jack. Who knows, maybe not. Just to say that what your training looks like today may not be what it looks like five years from now or even six months from now, if you got more adulthood or more shit to handle, I just got shit to handle. And that's not a pity party, that's just facts that different priorities take up different amount of energy from the battery that is our soul. I feel like Spider-Man, they ache. They ache a little bit. Another day in paradise, man, Thirsty Barbell. Finish up the push day, I'll do one more set of each of those, a little bit of cardio, go home and eat. Another grind, appreciate you guys for kicking it, man. More laid back, a little bit more raw. Just want you guys to see what it's really like. I hate all the bullshit happening on the internet. Negativity, fake, lack of authenticity. The reason I came to this space is because reality TV on television is all scripted and fake. I almost, I almost said sports are fake, they're not. But there's always all this built up drama. There's all this bullshit on TV and movies. Social media is trash. But the beauty of early day social media was just authentic connection between humans, telling stories, sharing what we're into, and hopefully grab a like-minded community around it. So get up to discord.com if you want to tap into the community. Silent Mike, we over me, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one.